Hello everybody, this is Sergio Explains and today I'm here with someone who is a Rolling Stones aficionado. Now, I like the Rolling Stones, who does not? But he knows about the Rolling Stones and that's why we are here. We, this week we had the sad news that... Charlie Watts. Charlie Watts, what happened? T tell us. Well, he passed away. Um a couple of days ago um, it was not unexpected you know he was not doing very well but uh, still it's one of those news that you never want to hear absolutely and what did he do for the Rolling Stones and for how long for how long as it's like over 50 years <laughs> um, what a career huh what a career and um, he he was the quiet one um, uh, it seemed like he never cared for fame, um, and you know every time you hear the Rolling Stones talk about him, it's like uh, he was the the backbone. Uh, even though you may not notice him as much, um, but for them he was he was their rock. So I, I am sure that uh, this would have um, shaken them to their core. I I, I feel so bad. We're all shaking. Yeah. Um, did he play the drums? He played the drums, he's renowned for that, and uh, he's also known for not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you recall any particular songs where he played the drum solo and that, uh, oh my god, that's it? No, I mean, he was not, uh, the Rolling Stones are not your traditional rock band, you know, like uh, when they go on tour, they just have like um, one, you know, five, ten minute guitar solo or five, ten minute uh, drum. Uh, there was, they always play their songs fairly consistently. If you hear their, their first uh, takes on songs, you know, the ones that they've been playing for so many years, they actually sound better, but fairly similar. Uh, he was just a solid drum player, um, a good friend, a great band member, and um, you know, everybody loved him. Did you ever watch him live? I watched them live two times. Where? When? Uh, in Indianapolis in 2014, 2015, if I remember correctly. And then here in Miami, which I think was probably their last concert. Wow. It may be their last concert ever in 2019. Wow. Okay. December so 2019. In, in homage, I, I don't know as much as you do about music, but... Um, as I said, I, I do like music and in homage to him and to the Rolling Stones, I would like to uh, talk about this particular item. Do you know what this is? This is the Jose Cuervo Special Edition Rolling Stones. It's probably one of the best and most beautiful boxes for any type of uh, spirit that I have ever seen. Do you own one of these? I own one of these. It's uh, it's the center of my collection. It's my favorite. Uh, I'm not much of a um, tequila drinker myself. Uh, I'm more into scotch, uh, single barrel, but um, I just couldn't resist that bottle and that box is just to, for any, any uh, tequila fan or any Rolling Stone fa fan, it's a must have. Uh -huh. Okay, so, but this is the uh, Rolling Stones tour pick uh, Extra Añejo or XO. Yeah, and I'm sure even though this is this is quite um, rare and exclusive nowadays, they, there were a bunch of these made and you can still find them in the hands of collectors. Now, can you push this to the side for a little bit? Um, do you know what this is? I'll let you read the, the front of the box. This is the one that I've been trying to find uh, for a while. Um, it's the Jose Cuervo. It's, 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 it's a similar, but it's the Platino. There uh, you go. There you go. And I love the wax seal, the look of yeah. the bottle itself. And you can see that this is artisanal glass. It has little bubbles of air inside the glass. This is absolutely wonderful. And each bottle is, uh, you know, uh, hand number. This is number 3046. 
and it was bottled on uh, 03, 03, 16. So that is uh, the Platino, like you said. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful bottle, a beautiful card box. Uh, it's not as fancy uh, as, the, as the red one, but still a, a, a beautiful must-have item uh, in any collectors. Okay, <laughs> I totally agree, and that's why I have it here. And let me ask you one more question. I'll move that out of the way. Do you know what this is? Uh, this one, actually, you showed me before. Uh, I'm not very familiar with it. It's also a Rolling Stones Tour Pick Edition. Uh, this one didn't come with a box. Um, it seems like it's a regular silver uh, tequila. Absolutely. Uh, it just has uh, a beautiful, beautiful... I go for cup. that tongue. Yeah, I it's, hope... <laughs> it's amazing. That, that uh, is it. It's not as clear as, as you see the other ones that it's a Rolling Stones. If you, if you grab it like from here... That's right. Uh, people, it's very That's hard right. to tell because no, it, uh, it says very small there. Yeah. And you have to look it up close. But if you see it like this, yeah. you know, without reading the label, you know, it's a uh, Rolling Stones I, I like the way that the word Cuervo is here uh, etched on the side and the signature there. And so we went from most exclusive and expensive probably, which is the Extra Añejo, to the silver. And as a matter of fact, there is a version that is Reposado and I don't have it to show it to you. That's hard to get to. And there are more, there are more versions of these. Uh, there is one that comes with a beautiful guitar case, absolutely <laughs> crazy. And I wish I had those, but uh, have you, let me ask you this, have you tried any of these three that we just showed, the, any of the three Rolling Stones, sorry, I have to reach in front of, have you tried any of these? Uh, I have not. Um, okay. Like I said, I'm not a... a You're not going to try it because I'm not no, about to open any of these. I'm not not, big, at least not today. Not these ones. I'm not a big tequila uh, drinker. I, of course, I do like it. Uh, but uh, I bought this mostly because I'm a huge uh, Rolling Stones fan. And just this this bottle is just out of the world. Yeah, so. the bottle, the box... It's, uh, it's incredible. Ab absolutely. So uh, we're not opening these until I win the lottery or something because these are extremely collectible and I, I just wanted to show them as an homage. But we do have here, it's not tequila, it is a mezcal, but it is añejo and it's called escorpión. Guess why it's called escorpión? Mm. <laughs> Let me think, what is that? Inside the bottle. Yeah, oh, what is a scorpion. that? What is that inside the bottle? Uh, it is a scorpion. So, have you ever eaten a scorpion? No, I have not eaten one. Um, uh, I have been beaten by a few of those in oh, my yeah? time. You've been... There we go. Ooh, it's swimming in the glass. We're going to have to fight over the scorpion. Okay, so I'm, by no means I'm saying this is good mezcal, okay? <laughs> um, usually if it's got a worm or a scorpion in it, it's just not very good. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And our, uh, our friend musician from the Rolling Stones died this week. And we were, let me, let me, pour, yeah, let me okay. pour some of this. There you go. And... You wanna you wanna eat this thing or or half and half or we'll do half and half. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You you split it. Go ahead and split it. Who gets the 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 pinchers and who gets the tail? Uh, okay. Okay. I go for the body and the pinchers. Here we go. I do not recommend this at home. This is not good mezcal by any means, but sometimes it's the right day to do it. And we're doing this for what's his name? Charlie Watts. There Charlie we go. Cheers. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Maybe we should have cut them sideways. <laughs> I'm still chewing on the pinchers. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Salud. 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 For Charlie Watts. Ah. Where's the selfie? Here we go. 